Hi everyone, it's Lisa. I hope you're enjoying the blog hop today with SVG Attic. Um, I just want to share a quick tutorial on how I created a card base for the um, onesie invitations you see. When you purchase the Baby Boy Collection from the SVG Attic website, you're going to get um, two onesies in that collection. One is plain to use as a banner with closed pins and one has holes in it to run twine through for a banner. So what I wanted to do was take the plain one and create a card base and it's so easy to do. So we've gone ahead and loaded our files into our library and I've already pulled the onesie into my work area here. And so I'm going to select it and right click and copy and paste. And I'm going to paste twice and I'm going to move one over here because I'm going to use this to create my layer on my invitation and I want to resize my layer the same time I resize this invitation. So now we're ready to work on the base. So this second one we have on our workspace, we're going to click to select, right click, and we're going to flip vertically. Now this one I have right here at the bottom, I've already lined up to the bottom of the mat and I've lined the sleeve corner up to the edge here. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one and I'll tell you why because, let me get them lined up. Okay, I'm going to zoom in so we can make sure that they're like they need to be. And that was actually like that. Okay. There, yeah, that looks good. So the reason that I line this up with the top of the mat and this up with the bottom of the mat is to create an equal overlay here so that when you create your fold, everything matches up perfectly. And the same that's the same reason I did this on the side over here too was so that when you do create your fold and fold it over that these match up. So with that being said, all we're going to do is zoom out and then we're going to click and select both of these and you'll see this area here. That's what we need to weld together. So let's right click and weld and now we have our whole piece. We're ready to go. Now you can um, cut this like it is and use your scoreboard to create a fold here or you can actually put perforated lines there and I'll show you how to do that real fast. What I like to do is have my, uh, where I'm going to have my fold, I like to line it up on one of these dark lines so when I go to put my line here I can see it. So choose your draw line and then just come down here to this line, select and draw a line straight across there. Then come up here to your select, go over here to your line style window, click it, select your draw line, choose the perforation you want, which I go with this one here, and you see once you click it, there you have it. So you're going to do the same thing on this side also. You're just going to do a line, make sure it's straight, and then you're going to be sure you hit your select arrow up here, select it, click it, and there you have it, you're done. Now what you want to do is click and select everything. Right click and group it together. So now if you move this, your, line, your perforated lines will move with you and you won't be all messed up on your mat. Okay, so you're ready to cut, except for you need to resize this. So what I did was I pulled this one, which is going to be my layer, on over to the mat. I'm going to change the color of it so you guys can see it. Okay, so you see it here. Bring it to the front. All right, now we're ready. And we have it right here. So what you're going to want to do is click and select everything. Now, to resize it, just grab that little box there and then start scrolling up until you get to the size you want. And I went as close to 11 as I could get it. So there you have it. So now that I have this on here, I want to go ahead and create my layer. 
and I have it chose so I'm just going to come up here to offset and I'm going to do an internal offset on it and I, I'll, I just go with that 0.187 of an inch. So there we have our offset. Let's just go ahead and move it off and then I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need it now. I'm going to add some color to this so as we're working with it you can see it. All right, there we go. So you can go ahead and do your cut on these. Um, select copy paste is what I do so I can cut two at a time. And there you have it. That's just that easy. You come over here to cut, select everything, tell it to cut, and you see you have your lines there. And then pick your cardstock type and send a silhouette. And you're ready to go. All right, so I'm going to move this one off of here because I don't need it and I'm going to work with this layer. Let's bring it to the front so you can see that how it'll lay on your card base perfectly. So I'm going to move this card base off over to the side and whenever I'm making something I always just move whatever I've cut over to the side in case I need it again. I'm also going to go ahead and pull in my motor vehicles that I used from the same collection and I'm going to resize them. So click and select them, grab the little box and scroll up and it'll resize them. I'm going to go down a little bit more. All right. So that's good for me. So I didn't cre create many invitations so all I did was add two of these layers to my um, cut map and because I did two uh, navy blue layers and two light blue layers I just did two vehicles on the navy blue and then switched them out for my cut and added the other two for the light blue so that they could it would be layered navy blue light blue navy blue and vice versa now if you're cutting more than that you can put four of these on your mat and cut at a time it'll be a lot quicker for you that way and then just go and cut your vehicles out and putting them together is really easy it's just a matter of layering this onto your card base and then adding this to it and I use pop-up um, 3D foam under the vehicles. Now to create the inside of your card, it's fairly easy, especially if you use your sketch pens. I'm going to just run through that real quick with you. I already have my um, font and everything, my text ready to create your text. You hit this A over here for text and you click on your work area and then you can type whatever you want. You choose your font, your size, if you want it centered, all of that fun stuff. So I'm going to get rid of this. So you see I already have all of that done. And then I just take these onesies and I make sure that I have the font exactly where I want it on the onesie. And once I do that, well there will be four onesies on here. Once you do that and get these centered, then you can send this to your silhouette and tell it to write this for you. So you just want to choose your font, come to cut, you're going to choose cut, you're going to select silhouette sketch pen, make sure you have your sketch pen in your machine, and then send it to the silhouette and it'll write this for you. Now once it does that, don't remove your map from your um, machine because then what you want to do is come in here and you want to put no cut on the the text you have and you want to choose instead your onesies and make sure that just the outline is there and then you want to change your blade out in your machine or change your pen to your blade pick your card top stock type and then send a silhouette and that's how you do it it's that easy it'll cut around that then so then all you have to do is put this in your uh, invitation and you're set to go so I hope that's helpful and I hope you enjoy the rest of the blog hop and have a great weekend. And thanks.